You are now watching Real Talk with Slapstick on Slapstick TV. Here we have comedian, actor, and author Pierre here on Slapstick TV. Welcome back, y'all. It's your boy comedian Eric Patterson. I'm here with the one and only, y'all know his name, my man Pierre in the building it here in Columbus, Ohio. Just ripped the stage here at Martha's Lounge, Ultra Lounge, I apologize. Please believe it, it's Ultra. Ultra, mega Ultra. <laughs> if you ain't heard about this cat, you can see him in Baps, The Wasp, What's how, to be a player. Man, how to be a player. That's money. Yeah, you that, that's my favorite. How you doing, Pierre? Good, man. Good. Uh, first of all, let me give a shout out to uh, Columbus for looking out. Came to the came through. They did a good job. Yes, sir. And uh, we had a ball, man. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I appreciate being here. Yeah. Hey, real quick, man. I know my favorite movie was How to Be a Player. Okay. Out of all the sets that you worked, uh -huh. let us know which one was the best one that you worked at. You watched like movies I made? Movies. 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 Well, I did a movie called uh, For the Love of Money that I wrote, produced, and directed. So try not to bootleg that. All right, then if you bootleg that, you ain't shit. All right? <laughs> Stay right now. You're taking my money. Um, but that's probably my favorite one because I, I was fully responsible for everything I did in it. Now, a lot of people like me and Halle Berry and Babs or How to Be a Player, even The Wash. Um, but that would probably be, I would say, uh, that probably the breaks I did. So probably uh, my own joint, For the Love of Money, you know, probably is my favorite. Let me ask you this. On top of that, what I just asked you, what was one of the funnest comedians or actors that you ever worked with? I mean, even traveling on the road, you know, you right. you let us know. Right, right. Well, the guy I most looked up to, he passed recently. I don't know if y'all know him. His name was Rodney Winfield. He's an older cat. He used to wear a sailor cap and a tuxedo all the time. Mm -hmm. And he was fearless on stage, man. He wouldn't care what he said, how he said it, man. Um, so he was probably probably my favorite comedian working with. Now I work with a lot of great comedians, with Steve Harvey, right. and Bernie Mac, and I even, I even opened up Richard Pryor and stuff. But to say that I connected with, probably with Rodney Winfield. Yeah. Much love to Rodney. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the people. Funny dude, man, out of St. Louis. Crazy. He was in a movie called Talking Dirty After Dark. He played the yeah, cook. I seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna do that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Huh? That's with uh, Martin Lawrence. Yep, there yep. it is. All right, let me get into some silly stuff. Do it. Okay, we're here now. You know? yeah. What's one of the weirdest experiences you ever had, either on the road or even on the studio set? Um, let me think. The weirdest, weirdest thing. I got head from a lady with three fingers. Okay, yeah, how about that, you know? And then watch my grab me a just thing like this. Make it shit look bigger too, make it shit look like this. Like, Damn, that my shit? But yeah, three fingers, so, you know. Yeah, back in the day, yeah, I got hit from a lady with three fingers. Y'all gonna see fingers off by licking them? Um, I don't I, I was gone. So I, 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 after I popped off, I was gone. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I would say, uh, that was kind of crazy and shit, yeah. All right, let me ask you, what got you into the comedy field, man? Yes, there being a class found back in Washington, D.C. Uh, going to school, I came up, I came up in, uh, in D.C. I came up with Mark Lawrence, Tommy Davidson, Dave Chappelle, Wanda Sykes, mm -hmm. Earthquake, Monique, we all came together. But being a class clown, man, I was always good with, uh, we call it Jonah back then. Right, right. Snapping and shit, ranking on each other. I can snap on it, like, I would tell that, I tell that like, we're going up right now, boy. You know? Go ahead, get on yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't know if you want to go to church or the club, man. What you doing tonight? You got tough link, you only match time. Yeah. 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 No, but it's all good. It's all good. Now, let me ask you this. Right now, you're not even a comedian. Okay? Okay. You're a promoter. Okay. I want you to put together one of the hottest shows you can think of. They could be even past or present. I want an MC. I want an opener, a feature, and a headline. I, I wanted to put together this, this show here. Look at this poster. It'd be like Rock, Tucker, and Murphy. That's a good show. It'd be all they brothers, though. All <laughs> them, okay, a small print, be they brothers and shit. Charlie Murphy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chris Rock brother and shit. <laughs> Chris Tucker brother Dexter and shit. A small tiny friend and charge seventy five hundred and fifty dollars per show and had y'all be mad in the mother when I come to the show like now y'all read the fine print, they brothers. <laughs> but, <laughs> tell me where you gonna have this at though. In Columbus, you? shit, okay? <laughs> right here. Right here. I think I think it's the date into the Nutter Center. Coming right, <laughs> right here, y'all. But, but real talk, I, I would like to have a show. Let's say me, uh, like Chris Rock. I like Chris Dave Chappelle. 
um, Tucker, like Chris Tucker, uh, a lot of times. I would say, you see, I got a chance to work with a lot of those people, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, on shows, so it's kind of hard to pick the ones I want because there's so many of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I work with Cat Williams, I mean, Bernie Mac, all of them joint. In fact, in my new book, I talk about that, man, about who I work with. So it's a gang of people I work with, man. So, you know. Yeah, but that would be a fly show. Those three names, but they be they brothers. Yeah, man. Hell, that's you? funny as hell. Damn, man. they brothers. So there you go. Now, do you have any kids, wife, yep, yep, family? Yep, yep. I had a wife. I had a wife. Yeah. She's still, okay. she still alive, but she ain't my wife no more. Okay. Uh, 11 years. Um, I got three kids. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, dog, home, <laughs> push up, push up. Push your bins. I mean, anything else you want? You know, I, mean, uh, I, I, I eat good food. <laughs> Fucks a lot. <laughs> what you know? What I'm gonna say is, let the people know about the book Hollywood, as well as plug yourself. Let everybody know, as our viewers and slapstick, where they can get a hold of Pierre. How can they look you up? Where can they follow you? And things like that. Well, I got this book right here. It's called My 100 Homies and Phonies of Hollywood. All right, but out. It's the it's the uh, story of 100 celebrities that I met throughout my career. How cool they was. How they wasn't cool. Everyone from like Halle Berry to uh, Wendy Williams to Eminem to Pac. All the people I worked with, Dre, I worked with and stuff. Bernie Mac, we just talking about comedians and so forth. How I worked with them, how I got to know them, that they were cool, blah, 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 blah. You can get this book online at thegreatestcomic.com. Thegreatestcomic.com. I'll even autograph it if you buy it from there. You know what I'm saying? Just type it me, I'll take care of that. Um, I got, and that's also my website. Take my website out. Um, right now I'm touring all over. I just finished making two movies called Slice One and Slice Two. They're horror comedies. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was writing a movie, I was trying to write a horror movie, but I was trying to think, man, every time I wrote it, I was thinking, like, what niggas say? What we really say in a horror movie? Like, nigga, I ain't going in that alley like that, you know? I ain't doing That's that. So, in my movies, I try to do a little twist on it where I, um, I even kill the white man first in my movie, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I kill him first. Um, <laughs> Seven black person. Yeah, exactly. I got gay thugs in there, I got handicapped basketball players, man. It's an ignorant ass movie, so if you see and hear about it, about another, it should be out by like beginning next year. Do not bootleg my shit, okay? <laughs> God damn it, don't bootleg my shit, that's my shit. So slice one and two, cop it, and um, I got those things coming out. Cause I know some folks ain't seen me in a minute. Mm -hmm. I kinda laid low, but free of the shit, just relax out in Phoenix. But I'm back in full effect. The fans have been asking, at least they've been asking me. So uh, I'm here, I'm back. I've been having a ball for the last year and a half, man, touring all over the country. And if you see me in your town, please come by and say what's up. Come to the show, support. And so I will say what's up to you too. I ain't one of them artists that don't want to talk to people, don't want to take pictures. I love my fans, man. You got balls enough to come up to me and talk to me, I'm gonna at least give you the respect and speak back. Now that's all the way 100. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah. So here it is. And before I let you go, man, with the comedy career that you have, it's very long, Jack. Okay. After your career is up, do you have any particular projects or anything that you're looking to do to either help up and coming comedians or any just anything? Just let, let us know where the people can feel the real here. First of all, any up and coming comedian, fuck y'all, I ain't helping y'all, ain't help me. Yeah, fuck it. So it's how it is, okay? You ain't done it for me, shit. Yeah. Second of all, nah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Do the same I did. Got their work. That's it. And after I finish my comedy career, I hope I'm in a casket, nigga. I'm still joking at the end, motherfucker. Okay, by the time they shit my casket, I'm still snapping on somebody. Okay, I wonder why I ain't got no good casket, why my shit ain't lined up right. Um, but, uh, and like I said, the movies that I make, you know, my production company, I wind up uh, using a lot of young comedians and trying to put them on, like, give them a chance to be seen. So a lot of my project, my film project, I put down a lot of young comics and stuff. So that's why I saw I held back, you know. So there it is. So if you're funny and got your shit going on, not if you think you're funny, I got to have at least more than 100 people told you you was funny and paid you. <laughs> then you're funny. Then come holler at me. And boom, let's do something. Well, it looks like I can come holler at you, man. No, nah, you got about 94 people. You got 64 <laughs> people, man. We ain't got a whole hundred now, okay? Okay, so you got about six more folks, man, and you be straight. Nah, but that's all good. And I don't fuck with nothing unless it's on Slapstick TV. And that's what's up. There it is. And that's there what's up. Is. Hey, y'all, this is Slapstick TV. We about to be out. I'm with the legendary Pierre. My name's Comedian EP, and we out. And that was comedian, actor, and author Pierre. Coming up next week, we're taking you back to Vegas for a little bit of this and a little bit of that here on Slapstick. 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 Slapstick TV coming your way. Slapstick. Slapstick. Shut it down. Slapstick. Shut it down. Shut it down.
what's up? It's your boy P. I got my new book, my 100 homies and phonies of Hollywood. If you want to find out how cool, how how some cool, some ain't cool Hollywood celebrities are, come holler, check it out, man. You can get it on my website at thegreatestcomic.com. Right across the bottom of there, look at that popped up. Bing! Check it out, man. And guess what? I only fuck with one one TV, and it's slapstick TV. If I ain't on slapstick TV, I ain't on nothing. There it is.